protection. All right, typically if we get a lot of puffs like this is what we call them, where there's been some damage, this would be acceptable to continue rigging these smaller puffs here. But when you get to a place where you have this many in a row, that makes, especially down into the secondary, that part right there being exposed means that this is no longer safe for rigging. So we're going to, uh, one of the ways you do it, tape, cut it off, and just remove the section that's been damaged. But sometimes, because we're, this started out as 300 feet of rope, and it's about five years in using it the way we use it every day almost we've uh, cut off little three foot four foot five foot pieces from time to time when guys make make mistakes with the saw now we're just going to flip it around so this is the other way to do it and i like to use a bag these are uh, waterproof lined bags and then so we're just going to flip it over and feed it in. This is a good little strategy for feeding. I grab the edge of the bag, roll it over, and then tuck in just like this. And you can do it standing up or whatever, but you're moving about two feet of rope pull pull. It's not amazing, but it does move pretty quick that way. But I'm gonna feed this whole thing in, and then I'm gonna retie our big dam to the opposite end and you can see the the difference with all the rigging there this is a little bit thicker and it's just because these fibers have been tightened more over time but anyway that's a just a thing to look out for always look at your ropes always check them inspect them before every job and during the jobs if you're on the ground that's kind of your job too if you're in the tree everybody's responsible for safety Safety is your job.